What's up guys, it's Curly Guy and I am back with another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how I um, get my hair ready for swimming. You know it's summertime, it's hot and I'm trying to be in the pool as you can see right here. <laughs> um, I'm trying to be in the pool, I'm trying to stay cool and deal with this summer heat. So a lot of people ask me like, because you see me on Snapchat swimming and stuff, some of you guys be asking me like what do I do to keep my hair from being too dry and um, letting the chlorine in the pool dry out my hair or whatever the case is, getting it wet so much. So I'm just going to show you guys in this video what I personally do to prepare my hair and to kind of leave my hair still moisturized in a sense after I'm out of the water. So currently my hair is looking like this, like a hot mess because when I'm going to get in the, when I know I'm going to get in the pool, I will go ahead and deep condition my hair beforehand. Um, so I'm not going to show you guys me deep conditioning. Uh, but you guys will see the other steps. You've seen me deep condition before and I actually have a deep condition routine coming up So I feel like it's kind of pointless for me to show you guys that but if you want to see all the other steps I follow then um, just keep watching this video Don't forget to comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already Don't forget to hit that little bell beside the subscribe button so you get all of my notifications when I upload and I am uploading this video is probably late, but you guys know I'm coming with it. So anyway, if you guys want to see what I do to get my hair prepped for the poo and the chlorine, then just keep watching. Okay, so you guys can already see that I've already done half of my hair. So I'm just going to go ahead and start on the other side. And the first thing I do is just spritz my hair with water. I always do this when I'm going from dry hair. It just makes my hair more pliable, more manageable, and it also allows me to rid of the shed hair. So once I distribute that water thoroughly through my hair, I'm going to then go ahead with my first cream. Now instead of um, adding a styling product, I'm going to just use two creams. And the first one I'm going to be using is the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner. And I like this one because it has a lot of heavier oils in it, which is going to make my hair a lot more impenetrable to the water. Um, so I'm going to be using that first. And it's like I said, a thick cream. Um, and it's going to install a lot of moisture in my hair. My hair will absorb a lot of this prior to getting in the pool. So it will definitely help me stay moisturized. And as you can see, I'm just doing it in this one section. I'm not breaking it apart or anything. And then I'm just going to go ahead and detangle the ends um, using my Michael Mercier brush. I've really been reaching for this brush a lot more than the Denman lately. But then the next product I'm going to go in with is the NYX Chicks. Um, leave-in conditioner and I like this conditioner because it definitely gives my hair some holes so it will definitely set my hair once I finish applying all my product and it also creates a bit of a barrier between the water and my hair shaft so that's going to give me a little bit more protection and block out a little bit more of that dryness as well and as you can see I'm just slapping that on there and making sure it's distributed the next thing I'm going to go in with is this oil mix and you guys know that water and oil do not mix. Um, oil is actually insoluble so it does not dissolve in water so it's definitely going to help with creating a barrier and keeping my hair nice and moisturized and hydrated as well as locking in all that moisture. Now the next thing I'm going to do is sleek my hair back as you see I did on the other side and it does not need to be perfect I'm just trying to get it back so I can put it in this braid and the reason I put my hair in this braid is because when my hair is intertwined like that it helps me to keep a lot more product in my hair as opposed to be just getting in the pool with my hair free flowing. You guys could stop at this point but I just rather do the braids because it also keeps my hair out of my face and from all over the place when I'm trying to get a good swim going. So yeah guys I just go ahead and finish out that braid and um, I just tie it down for a little while just to make it look a little bit more presentable. And I'm sorry about that face, you guys. It was thundering really bad outside. <laughs> and yeah. So as you guys did see, that part was a voiceover because ironically enough, I was talking about getting in the pool in the weather, but it was actually storming outside when I filmed that part of the video. But anyway, you guys get the idea of what I did. As I said before, don't forget to subscribe and comment. Also be looking out for that giveaway that's coming when I reach 20,000 subscribers. So the quicker you guys get me there, the quicker you guys get that giveaway and it's going to be well worth it. So anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well as my other videos. Um, 
And yeah, don't forget to check in the description box down below because I do have some discount codes um, and some affiliate links for you guys to get some money off of different products. So go down there and check that out, you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>